his edge cancels with his up B. It's a very, very disorientating ability. I mean, it's also it a very effective one. On paper, it doesn't do anything. You're just moving about. But yeah. like to an actual person, it can be very strange to just... Absolutely. Tena is quite a sluggish character, and then suddenly she's three places yep. at once. And any, any movement options that are better than yours is yeah. always going to cause some sort of a, a shift in your favor. And I, I suspect he won the uh, platform or the stage choice. It seems like it battlefield, goes straight to battlefield for first him. choice. Nearly and going for that spike again. Very very close. Not afraid to go off against Marth as well. That's an interesting. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, Palatina is one of those characters that just straight up has a teleport. Yeah. So you can't catch her on the way. You have to catch her there. Yep. Um, which makes it quite hard sometimes to really do anything about her recovery. Ben and it is a good recovery. Absolutely. Kid is using a lot of. Side B, variations yeah. of side B, just attack on damage. I think he's waiting because he knows, um, in terms of just footsies, I think Palutena probably hits heavier unless it's well spaced. It's that, and also she gets more from her hits. That Mark too, yeah. Really, like, he's sort of, he tacks on hits here and there. He doesn't have a lot of yeah, combos yeah. in this game. But Palutena can get some nasty stuff from a good hit. Just setup wise, never mind straight combos. And there we see. Very nice two frame. It wasn't a two frame, unfortunately, Was because he let go of the ledge and tried oh, to go I after him, see. so he just lost his invulnerability for that second ledge. Oh, wow. Uh, which is always a risk. you really got to think carefully before you do that. If someone's on the ball, that's yeah. a free button. Yeah. Very quick match, this, actually. Yeah. Just noticing, this is a very... Both players already... Well, one's already down in stock, the other one's nearly... Ooh. That was a... I mean, Again. I'm sure he knew exactly what he was doing, but I was worried for a second. That was... Yeah, you, you, it looks quite a... Side, uh, up being off the side yeah, is never fun. Yeah, it, it, on any other character, it would look like such a yeah. problem. And uh, you see them, he was going for a jab up smash. Palutena is one of those characters who can jab into a mix up and um, really cause problems for a lot of slower or floatier characters. Yep. But uh, the first stock went to Marf, and it looks like he's cementing his lead a bit now. He's just tacking on more and more damage with his rage. Palutena is an interesting character as well. Mm. Her character model, I've noticed her hair moves as one unit. Yes. It is Play-Doh. Yeah, Play-Doh hair, very yeah. Green Play-Doh. Oh, uh, there is the yeah. ledge cancels I'm talking about. Always fun to look at, unless you're trying to figure out Jab what Jab one into forward smash. Once again, pulling that out, and he must have been practicing that. That is not an easy thing to hit. Mm. Um, I know from experience, I've played Kid a, a lot. Yep. And his uh, spacing on his math has always been very good. The good thing is, of course, though, that Snook is, because Snook is such an active player, you can sort of see him always doing something. Absolutely, yeah. You can be fairly assured that he will probably try to hit a button whenever that jab forward smash happens. Yeah. So it, until he learns to just chill out a bit, it might be good to just keep doing it. I, I'm pretty sure DIing away can also have a huge impact on... Yeah. Uh, a lot of really cool things in this game can be ruined if you just DI away. Yeah. The speed of it, though... Mm. Jab one is a very fast move, and after getting that, if you've already gotten it, the uh, yeah. doesn't matter. Yep. So. And there you see palatena has got her mm. own jab game, and it's pretty strong. Jab into throw, jab into up smash. That actually yeah. might be a problem as well, because if you were to miss the DI away, and you were to DI away while hitting the forward smash, that in itself could lead to an early death. Yeah. Definitely. So that's a it's a gamble almost. You now is he going to go for the ledge cancel and the spike? No, he's not. Staying safe. The timeless problem in Smash, of course, is the whole DI game of DI away for combos, DI in for kill hits. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. uh, gotta feel it out and know when, when not to try and get away. Yeah. And it looks like Palutena is like relatively understandably having trouble killing Mark. Yes, um, absolutely. Mark oh. is able to space away from yeah. Palutena's. Uh, Strong moves as well. He's playing very defensively. He's not getting caught by that. Uh, there we go. There's a lovely back air to the finish off that stuff. Very strong. Very strong. Yeah, indeed. Wax you on the head with a shield. Uh, Fast the other one is well. up air, of course. Yeah. Up air, probably one of the strongest 50/50s, I'd say. It's very, it's very strong. It's deceptively dangerous for a character that everyone keeps saying is bad. Yeah, exactly. And uh, yeah, just pressing with the neutral air, which is frustrating. All those little hits to your shield, you just sort of went by turn. There he goes again, using the jabs. He's being Snook. very, very meticulous with his uh, his choice of moves. He knows that Snook isn't going to shield. That was a very good uh, return to neutral stage. He's keeping his pressure on in the in the center stage. If he notices that uh, 
Kid is trying to regain pressure. He will jump back with his up back into the middle oh, of the yeah. stage and regain the uh, control. Snook so that is a very interesting mechanic. Snook is very good at making what seems like a gimmick at first actually be a very big problem in a match. Absolutely, just yeah. He turns that into very raw mobility mm. that you just aren't ready for quite a lot of the time. I honestly think the fact that uh, Palutena, when spot dodging and rolling, kind of blinks out of yeah. view for a while, I think that's quite disorientating. Maybe it not to us. Can be. Yeah, spectating it at the moment, but definitely to the players, it is very, very... In yeah. the moment when you're actually looking at it, it can be very disorientating. Definitely. So and that's the first there. match there. Down for going to Palutena. The hoo-ha, uh, but the Palutena mm -hmm. version. Um, very strong. Just Could you call it a Paluha? Uh, could, but I won't. Yeah? Don't know what I call it. I don't know. No, I'm not good at DMs, so I'm not going to play this game. <laughs> right. That was a very good first match from both players. There wasn't a lot in there. Mm, um, there wasn't. There was not much difference in terms of skill either. Um, both very, very adept in the characters they've chosen, but he decided uh, to switch to Greninja. Greninja. This is a popular pick. He is very, very confident with his Greninja as well. I don't um, disagree, simply because the problem again with Marth against Palutena is Palutena has mm -hmm. a kill throw setup. Yes. Whereas Marth has nothing. Yeah. So he's not really threatening too much with the throw. Whereas yeah. with Greninja, he's definitely got things off throws. Greninja's got some good 50-50s and he's got a lot of mix-up tools, especially with his recovery. Much more than Marth has, so recovering low is not the only option he has. Um, in terms of damage, uh, since Palutena likes to go for aerials to try and get kills, um, Greninja has very good anti-airs. His up smash, his uh, forward smash, they're very good. As well as exactly that. Great little, I love that. His little combos. He uses the vortex from the up air. To drag it intentionally down, yeah. fast falls before the move actually ends. Mm -hmm. And it just drags them down with him. It's great. Such a lovely thing to watch someone use that properly. And that was... Caught out absolutely. Read that. The hardest of reads. He sat there for a good three seconds going, I know where you're going. Mm, exactly. You saw that coming a mile away. Maybe that might have been the fact that because he was... Recovering low so much the last match that he knew he's probably going to try something different now that this match. he has the option to recover yeah. high. Definitely. Yeah. Snook showing very good sort of presence of mind. Yeah. Um, now ben is a huge advocate of using the uh, up and down tilts on Greninja. He uses them to set up into most of his uh, damaging options. He's got very good spacing with his down tilt. It's a hard move to get, surprisingly. It's not yeah. as long as you would have expected it to be. But if you can hit it, it can lead into a lot of uh, follow-ups. Yeah. So it's a good move to go for. Definitely. And it's it somewhat underutilized. Um, Definitely, yeah. Because it can sort of put you in a bad position if you miss mm. a dying tool. Um. And it's not extremely DI dependent as well. Yeah. Even if they do DI away or DI in, there are still options that can cover it. <laughs> a very brave side B into the stage and just uh, you don't want to do too many of those no definitely not that uh, I, I've got a feeling that up smash might be able to catch that out as well if he didn't oh space cover up very smash nice. just sort of taking out that last stock there all that was really was a change of pace he just sort of for a while he was throwing shurikens playing very passive and then all of a sudden just boom smash yeah, the pace exactly and uh, Greninja speed allows him to do that he is a very fast character um, you can get in very fast and get out very fast, yeah. which is very good. You have to be careful with the shuriken, of course, um, because Palutena can reflect them. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily do a lot, but it can just disrupt your flow. And yep. as Greninja, you actually like, you have a flow to you. He's a water Pokemon, of yep. course he has a flow to him, but you nice. want to be playing in a certain way. Yeah. Running underneath those projectiles there, with the low profile that Greninja has while he's running. The reflect. Yeah. Able to push you back as well. Yeah, it can be the most insulting edge guard in the game. And in, it's an interesting uh, spacing tool as well. Yeah, definitely. Keeping a uh, close range kind of, I don't know what you call combo, combo characters off you is probably quite easy yeah. with that move as well. Because Greninja, Greninja has a very strong grab. It's very wide and it lasts for a long time. Yeah. Um, it's I also very fast. I think I saw one of the players looking like they thought that was a kill. Yeah. yeah. Friendly PSA, never let you hold the controller until you actually die. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, the uh, the reflect obviously, the problem is it's a slow move. Um, and he is using it an awful lot. It's the real risk that Greninja can just jump over it and start something quite yeah. nasty. 
but uh, Palatine is just playing a very good defensive game. And that is a strong back Ooh. air. Or back throw. Would that have been a problem with DI there, or was that... I think there must have been a problem with DI. I don't think it's it that It seemed like it. I did not think that was going to kill. Like, that was center steer. Yeah. So, I mean... Maybe the angle of the kill or something. That's a legit kill throw that happened. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, yeah, just sharking with the up air. Um, Greninja's still very much in this. Greninja's a very explosive character. If you're good yeah. with the character, you can tack on damage very quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would have been a kill option. He was going for the running forward smash. Yeah. Um, there it is again. Very good. Catch him on very the strong, air smash. Very strong move. And especially with Palutena throwing out a lot of these short hops that she is doing. Yeah. That's a... It's a good move to go against it. Very satisfying move too with the double hit. It is, hit. yeah. It's a lovely... It looks great and it also sounds great. Good the crunch, sound effects yeah. for it is fantastic. I played Greninja a lot in the 3DS whenever I was over in Japan. Oh yeah. And I would have played him, but then they nerfed him and stuff. And he just felt Sadly, yeah. Hard. Poor Greninja. Better nerf Greninja. Uh -huh. I mean, from what I hear, he deserved it, but we competitive at that point. So. Yeah, um, so it seemed as though he had no knockback on his moves and could combo almost everything. Or at least yeah, that's what I've heard about it. Sounds familiar. Yeah. I quite enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the great champion for me is that, although he's better, I actually really love Ganador from Brawl. And in this game, I don't like him as much. Really? Because he's a better character. He just is. Is like, he? Yeah. What well, is it that made him better? Um, what, well, that I don't like anymore? Mm. Or? Mm -hmm. I don't know. He just feels a bit more sluggish. He doesn't. Oh. And whilst we were not paying attention, that was Palatina an closed like that. Did turn around up air to just catch the roll. Very well done. Yeah. Snook very much deserves to be in loser.